Hello, today I am going to teach you a Gauss elimination method. It is the method for solving an equation of non-homogeneous equations. Uh, it is a method for solution of system of linear equation. Uh, solution of linear equation has a two approach. That is one is direct method and another is iterative method. In direct method, we have two methods, Gauss elimination method and another is Gauss Jordan method. And in iterative matter, method, there are two things. Uh, one is uh, Jacobi's method and another is Seidel method. So today I am going to teach you a Gauss elimination method. It is uh, uh, in this method, we have given a system of linear equation like A11x plus A12y plus A13z equals to B1. A21x plus A22y plus A23z equals to B2. And A31x plus A32y plus A33z equals to B3. From this given equation, we have to convert this equation into augmented matrix means we write a coefficient of x, y and z according to in the matrix like this like 2, 2, a2, 3 and b2 a3, 1, a3, 2, a3, 3 and it's b3 this is called an augmented augmented matrix so now we have to convert this matrix into row echelon form or upper triangular matrix in uh, performing a row operation on this and upper triangular matrix be like 1 2 3 0 4 5 0 0 and 6 this is called an upper triangular matrix now applying a row operation like addition, multiplication, division, and common of uh, uh, common element from each row. Uh, all this type of uh, operation is performing on the row. Uh, we cannot apply any column operation, but we can apply a row operation. After that, we get this type of matrix. And And this is called an upper triangular matrix and this gives a solution of the uh, all this uh, linear equation. Now we taking an example that uh, clear a better idea of this. So equation system of equation is x plus 3y plus 2z equals to 5, 2y, 2x plus 4y minus 6z equals to minus 4 and x plus 5y plus 3z equals to 10. Now we create an augmented matrix of all coefficient of this equation like 2, 4, minus 6, minus 4, 1, 5, 3 and 10. Now the method is that using this element we have to make this and this 0. Using this element we have to make this zero so now we start our equation so we become uh, we have to become this element zero so r2 r2 minus 2 r1 so this becomes zero three two five and r2 four minus two minus r1 means six four minus six means minus two then R2 means minus 6, minus 2 into 2, minus 4 means minus 10, minus 4, minus 2 into 5 means minus 14. And third column remains as it is. Now we have to perform operation on R3 column using this. So R3 minus R1. So this become 1, 3, 2, 5. First column, a row, a row and second row, uh, remains as it is and third row is 
आर थ्री माइनस आर वन सो फाइव माइनस थ्री मीन्स टू थ्री माइनस टू मीन्स वन टेन माइनस फाइव मीन्स फाइव नाउ यूजिंग दिस सेकेंड रो सेकेंड एलिमेंट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट थर्ड रो सेकेंड एलिमेंट एज जीरो सो फर्स्ट रो बिकम्स एज इट इज सेकेंड रो ऑल्सो बिकम्स एज इट इज एंड वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट आर थ्री प्लस आर टू सो दिस बिकम्स जीरो आर थ्री प्लस आर टू मीन्स नाइन माइनस नाइन आर थ्री प्लस आर टू दिस बिकम्स ऑल्सो माइनस नाइन सो दिस इज अवर अपर ट्राइंगुलर मैट्रिक्स नाउ वी फाइंड द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ दिस प्रीवियसली वेन वी कंप्यूटर ऑगमेंटेड मैट्रिक्स एट दैट टाइम दिस इज द एक्स को ऑफिशेंट दिस इज अ वाई को ऑफिशेंट दिस इज अ जेड को ऑफिशेंट एंड दिस इज अन सो नाइन जेड इक्वल्स टू माइनस नाइन सो जेड बिकम्स वन एंड सेकेंड इक्वेशन इज माइनस टू वाई माइनस टेन इक्वल्स टू माइनस फोर्टीन टेन जेड माइनस फोर्टीन सो स्पुट जेड इक्वल्स टू वन इन दिस सो दिस बिकम दिस माइनस फोर तो वाई बिकम्स टू एंड द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन इज एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई प्लस टू जेड इक्वल्स टू फाइव सो पुट z equals to one and y equals to two in this equation. So x becomes five minus two minus six is three. So x becomes minus three. So this is the solution of our given system of non-linear equation. Now here we got x equals to minus three, y equals to two, and z equals to one. Put this this value in this three equation to verify that we answer our equation is right or wrong so put the x equals to minus 3 plus y equals to 2 means 6 plus z equals to 1 means 2 this becomes a 5 yes we got it so this is the verification phase where we compute that the solution is right so this way uh, all goes elimination method is work some are the pitfalls of gauss elimination method that uh, we uh, we calculate augmented matrix and we perform a operation on that but sometimes it's, it's possible we divide uh, something that uh, becomes divide by zero error so pitfalls is divide by zero of gauss elimination method then another pitfalls is round off error because if we divide a phi by 3 that goes on the point and we round off the error and that propagate to each steps like here we divide phi by 3 then we taking a two digits after point and the neglect the another two digit that error propagates all the stages so round off error and third is ill condition ill condition means when we uh as suppose a uh, coefficient of x is a uh, 1 and uh, y is a uh, 10 and uh, answer is 10.5 so if we change little bit in x and y coefficient but the solution gives a large difference that time ill condition is used and to remove the ill condition we using a partial par pivoting method so this is a uh, uh, covered in the next video thank you for watching this video and subscribe my channel thank you